Wednesday, hump day, oh yeah, cruising right happily along through this week. What do we got going today? It's been a great week so far, learning about all these cool classic monsters and whatnot. Ooh, you wanna see some classic monsters? Right here. You ever go to Disneyland? These are classic monsters. These are the ghosts that follow you home. Ah. They don't really, but they get in the cart and ride with you for a little bit. Weird, cool optics, anyway. All right, so what kind of jobs do these guys have? Oh, Munster, what the heck is his first name? It's gonna drive me nuts. You guys are probably saying it and everyone's like answering right now. Like Clayton's probably like, I know, I know. Uh, God, Henry Munster, whatever. Mr. Munster from the Munsters, he probably, I don't know what he did for work. The, he, he went to work every day and uh the, yeah yeah he went to work every day got his lunch box lunch pail I, I don't i don't remember what he did for work but they had to have jobs i mean how would they... dracula seriously are you independently wealthy from what dude or for maybe years of plundering and whatnot i think he might have been a pirate at one point anyway but what kind of jobs did they have and if they change jobs from time to time how does that work out for them how do they prepare for a job how how do you think Dracula honestly prepares to go into a job interview. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but good thing I didn't. Anyway, uh, so we'll learn about that stuff. Frankenstein, you know, uh, the monster, he's, what can he do? I mean, he's super strong. He's gotta have some, you know, that's that's a skill. Just having super strength like he does, that's a skill. Now, Mummy, maybe he's good at like wrapping other people's bandages. I mean, maybe he could work in a hospital or something like that, or at least a doctor's office or as an EMT. Could you imagine the mummy as an EMT? That'd be kind of funny. So who knows? Uh, I could see, uh, here, I wrote down some things of, uh, here's what I kind of see some of these guys could be. Frankenstein, I could see him uh, working in a movie theater, getting the popcorn. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of, that would be cool. But I could see him doing that, you know, interacting with the customers and whatnot probably a movie buff and werewolf i think uh i think the werewolf uh working uh i i envision him working at the express lane in a grocery store uh-huh yeah just kind of moving people along 10 items or less you know and you know probably gets a little grumpy when someone's got that 11th item or the person that shows up in the 10 item or less line with like 47 items like did you even count you know, I can't see him doing that, hustling people along. Dracula, motorcycle cop. He comes up to the window. Do you know how fast you were going? One, two, three times the speed limit. Ah, 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 I'm going to write you a ticket now. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we'll find out what those cool cats might have been doing, how they might have gone about getting jobs, what they actually did for jobs, who knows. So that'll be fun, but it is Wednesday. So how about we start off with, uh, hey, some real jobs that we might be able to get from Ray right here. Not from Ray, Ray's not gonna give us the job. He's gonna show us some jobs. Ray did the research to find the jobs. Very easy, go on Indeed, you can find jobs. Ray does it every week, it's pretty awesome. And then who do you talk to? Z Weiss at bcdi.org. Boom, Zach helped you out with that. Check out these jobs right here. Very cool, there's some jobs for you. You can check him out. Check in with Mr. Z Weiss, Mr. Zach Weiss, man. Oh man, can he help you out with some jobs. But uh, let's go right now and check out what Gabrielle's got for us, whether it's a national day and or something going on in town. Let's check it out right here. Morning everybody, it's Wednesday and what is Wednesday? I know a lot of you come in late now and I don't get this great big sound. So the ones that are here in the building, I really need to hear it. On what day is it? It's hump day. Yes, it's Wednesday. 
middle of the week. Woohoo! Got any good plans for the weekend? <laughs> I'm already thinking of the weekend. Well, oh well, you know, it happens. But today, no national day. Today I'm gonna go with what's around town. I've been looking in this, I have to put my glasses on to read this, but you know, the Modesto view thingy. Some really cool things in here. What's going on around town? I came across this. I wanna do this. I hope I can get myself there to do this. It's at the McHenry Mansion. And it's next week. It's on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the 25th, 6th, and 7th. And it's Morbid Obsession. So the mansion's gonna be all decked out in Victorian funeral costumes. They're gonna talk about this. I have to read this to you because this is really, this is great for all of you that love this kind of stuff. They're gonna, it's the 19th century embalming practices and death masks, post-mortem photo gallery and deadly diseases, deaths and funerals in the mansion. Ugh, it's $10 to get in and it, We'd go during program time, but sorry guys, it's from 5.30 in the evening to 9.30. They probably want it dark and spookier. Oh, sounds really good to me. But um, they're going to have a wonderful selection of Halloween things to meet your needs, whether it be decor, gifts, or cards. Can you imagine going in there and somebody's dressed like a mortician from the Victorian ages? Sounds a little... Mm, to me, but I bet really interesting. Don't know if I need to see any post-mortem, uh, you know, photos or, you know, embalming practices might be interesting. Because I have been to a mortuary where they show you how they embalm people. It is a little different, might I say. Um, um, one day I'll tell you the story why I had to go do that. Nothing I did, it was a friend, but it is a very interesting story don't have time for it today but I do want to tell you about this because I think it would be something really cool to go to and it's right here in our backyard literally right so check it out on the uh, 25th 26th and 27th of next week so everybody have a great Wednesday and we'll see you tomorrow very cool now let's go back in the pa oh not back in the past it's back in the wolfen past with this wolf dude that uh, used to be Zack, but now is a wolf. That's very, very creepy. It's also interesting how he talks, but his mouth never moves. It's just a gape the whole time. Ah! Back in the past with, back in the wolfen past with Zack right here. Oh! <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, it's another fine day, everybody. I hope you're doing well out there. And, uh, you know, before we get all this started, let's go back, back to the wolf and pass with Wolf Guy. Hey, so a little bit of unique legends about these werewolves we're talking about. So in Scandinavia, werewolves were usually old women. I don't think I was an old woman between before I turned into this werewolf, but yes, they were old women. And... What they would do is they had the ability to paralyze cattle and children just with their stare. Pretty impressive, right? Eh? You know, my werewolf wife can do that to me still, sometimes. Now, also in Serbia, they would traditionally gather as a group at the end of the werewolfing season and they would hang their werewolf skins up on the trees. In Haiti, the Haitians, they would try to trick the mothers in the middle of the night by walking up to them and asking the disoriented mother, can I have your child? Sometimes they'd say yes, sometimes they'd say no, and then they would run off with the child. And the Russian superstition recalls a werewolf can be recognized by the bristles under their tongue. Hmm. I have a look to see if I have bristles under my tongue. Maybe that would have been a telltale sign why this happens every year. Gosh! Could have been a little more prepared. Also, according to some Swedish accounts, the werewolf could be distinguished from a regular, regular wolf by the fact that it would run on three legs. It would use its other leg as a tail. So, little facts of the friends that I have out there in the world. 
I might have some of these traits. Until next time. All right, there we go. We've been back in the past with the Wolfman past, learning about some werewolves and stuff. See, it's cool stuff. Werewolf, man, that's a, that's a tough gig, you know? I mean, you're you're normal all the time, and then a full moon comes out. It's so like once a month, you're turning into this ridiculous beast, and you full moons happen in the middle of the day too. It's not, the movies always characterize it at night, but the reality is, is a full moon's a full moon. If it's visible and you can see a full moon during the day, wouldn't they still turn into one during the day? Just saying. Anyway. What do we got coming up today? Facebook Live, one o'clock, we have employment with Zach. Or maybe it'll be Wolfen employment, who knows? We'll see, Facebook Live, one o'clock, what's going on there? Otherwise, have a great Wednesday every day, hump day. Get through this, we'll be on to Thursday, cruising towards the weekend and getting inching closer to Halloween. See y'all. Gosh, that was terrible, let's do it again. Come on, see y'all. <laughs>